Hi, I'm Michael Milton and I work as the Bioinformatics Specialist for Melbourne Genomics in Australia. Today I'll be talking to you about Acclimatize, a tool that helps with the building of portable workflows. The overarching goal of this project is to make it easier to write analysis workflows, especially those written in a workflow language. One area for improvement we identified in writing these workflows was in reusing tool definitions. Tool definitions are the part of the workflow that describe to the executor how to run bioinformatics tools, generally via the command line. As you can see from this analysis of common workflow language workflows, tool definitions take up somewhere between 25 and 50% of the total lines of CWL code in a workflow. In addition, tool definitions are designed to be reusable in different workflows in all main workflow languages. This suggests a solution. We can facilitate the authoring of new pipelines by providing pre-created tool definitions. So what are the challenges involved in providing tool definitions? Firstly, as you can see from this screenshot from the Bioconda channel, there are many thousands of bioinformatics tools, with updates being published daily. Secondly, we have to deal with the numerous different workflow languages, most of which use different tool definition formats. There are some existing solutions to this problem. Firstly, each workflow language has one or more repositories that collect curated tool definitions. However, these can't and don't keep up with the quantity of bioinformatic tools being published. Additionally, having separate repositories for each language is a redundant use of effort when we could be curating one centralized repository. The other type of solution is automatically generating tool definitions, for example using argparse to tool. But so far, these only work on a small subset of bioinformatic tools. To solve this problem more generally, I would like to introduce Acclimatize. Acclimatize is a Python 3 library with associated command line interface. It takes the full command line of a tool as input and produces tool wrappers in Common Workflow Language CWL, and Workflow Definition Language WIDL, as an output. Acclimatize is also able to detect subcommands and generate names for inputs lacking useful names. To install Acclimatize, you need only run pip install acclimatize. To run it, you write acclimatize explore and then the full command line of the tool in, and an optional list of workflow formats to output, in this case CWL. To demonstrate how acclimatize works, here is the help output from SAMTOOLS BEDCOV, part of the SAMTOOLS suite of utilities. As you can see, SAMTOOLS BEDCOV has two mandatory positional arguments and four optional flags. Next, here is the output generated by running Acclimatize Explore on this tool. As you can see, Acclimatize has correctly generated a CWL file, and it has the correct command, both positional arguments with the correct positional bindings and generated names, and all four optional flags with their correct prefixes and generated names. As useful as this is, it's possible to make Acclimatize even more accessible. To this end, I've developed Basecamp. Basecamp is a database of tool definitions generated by running Acclimatize on every binary in every package in the Bioconda repository. The database was then compiled into a website which is now hosted on GitHub pages. Here I'll demonstrate using Basecamp to download a tool definition for the Freebase variant caller. On this page you can see the nearly 8,000 Bioconda packages that have been converted. Within each package is a list of versions that have been converted, Within this is a list of each executable files within the package, and finally on this page is a list of tool definitions in the different workflow formats. You can easily download one of these using the download button and integrate them into a portable workflow. Acclimatize and Basecamp still have much room to improve. Although the parser is quite flexible, it doesn't correctly convert all help files because they can, these can be so variable. I hope to improve the parser even further in the future. Secondly, I'm hoping to add some possibility for manual curation for particularly difficult tools to parse. And lastly, I hope to add support for additional workflow languages, including Snakemake, Nextflow's DSL 2.0, and Galaxy, all of which have some full form of tool definition or wrapper which could be generated by Acclimatize. You can find the sources for all the images in this presentation here. And finally, I would like to thank the Victorian Government and the members of the Melbourne Genomics Health Alliance for supporting Melbourne Genomics, which has allowed for work on this project. Thank you for listening.